Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to Let's Play to the Moon where we are about to use roadkill to stimulate some memories in a dying man and get into his earliest memories that have been blocked by a massive dose of beta blockers when he was very young. Let's see how that goes. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it'd matter to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Act 3. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses. And at me. So we've been here before. Let's go. Okay, so we've got our links. We just need to go to the soccer ball. Can we talk to... Nope. All right, let's get to it then. There's the ball and the whiteness. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Oh, mind quake. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Now I'm... A horrible Russian accent for the doctor, I believe. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory, now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? Or why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking. Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie, and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. You know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Doctor? I think we're okay. 
for now. And welcome to which horrible accent will he do for the doctor next? And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Here goes nothing. Oh, I, I didn't know that's what we needed to do. That's a pleasant surprise, I guess. And a time saver. So it's not a leap back, it's a leap sideways. And will the next leap be the leap home? Starring Scott Bakula. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Er, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. You're talking about the bunk bed, aren't you? Yeah, I thought that was weird. For a single, ch for an only child to have a bunk bed. Um. So is this Johnny in two places, or is this Johnny and his brother? Guess we're gonna find out. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You got to take them there one day. Well, we're about to see if this is Johnny or... Well, there's three now. Sheesh. The time overlap's getting out of hand. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Look at how many of them of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Can interact with this one. Ha! Huh. It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. I don't see a ball at all. There's a dead squirrel. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. Is it getting darker? Oh, jeez. Look at the... time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well... This is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. Maybe so. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit. Duh. We need to get back. Now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Oh, 
I see the ball now. I didn't see it before. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. No. Jesus. Guess we were right after all. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Or what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! His brother's name's Joey, not his grandfather. Joey! Can you hear me? Joey! Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! Joey, even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers, erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the Bader blockers. She seems to have gone a little bit cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. Yeah. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. So Johnny became Joey to her. Receive note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Okay, well, at least we didn't have to find links in that place. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. Oh. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rah, 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 rah. 
and then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. Stop that. Hee <laughs> hee. Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What? You're still mad about the other day? Aw, oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing? And... Okay, okay. You know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours. Sorry, I just about lost it there. Everything that's mine is yours, too. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on. Receive note, Animorphs. I think I know what that's going to say. Animorphs is actually Joey's. Yeah, Joey's favorite childhood books. can't really get to the other one it's okay all right so is it the train it's the train oh is this the earliest one that looked pretty early in the timeline some kind of carnival huh shall we look around how about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, you ruined it. So is this like a carnival? A fair? Fruits, fresh nuts. For fresh fruits. Apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We've got it all. Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits. Yeah, they are. See? They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never, ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Yeah, any plant that has seeds on the inside is a fruit. Uh, 
uh, here they are. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. He just went first. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny. Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you Dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Hey, is that Whack-A-Mole? whack a what? Whack-A-Mole. You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. <laughs> Topical humor. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh. Oh, sure. Okay, use the mouse. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotta get them all. There's a pink one. Good lord. It's a lot of moles. I mean, I didn't get them all, but I got a lot of them. Did I win? I missed three. 93%. I can live with that. It's a new route. So I don't... Oh, I get a memory thing. But I don't win a animal or something or a train. That's disappointing. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh, my. Come on, I'm getting both of your treats. H hey, where's my tip? <laughs> Poor fortune teller. Tell my fortune. No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. Okay. Where'd they go? Down here? Oh, requires three bars of memory links to proceed. Okay. Let's find some more memory links then. Um, can, we talk, can we talk to her again? Is that what we need to do? Nuh uh. Okay. Do I have to play whack a mole again? Welcome and behold the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Um. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Ah, so there's our third memory link. Hmm. At least it was nice enough to let us know that we still had a link in this area. Ooh, sparkly stand. Sparkly, sparkly stand. Nothing on it. How about up here? Exploring. 
Nice. Oh, here they are. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. Oh, olive. He took on lots of Joey's mannerisms and likes. You should at least try one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Ma. I'm done. Through. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. That's all the links. Pickled olives. Yep. Joey's favorite. Heart monitor's red. He's not doing good at all. Is there any... Oh, we got all the links. Do we need to follow him to get the memento? What's the matter, kitty? Okay, here's the playground. There he is. Where you going, kid? Uh-oh. Way to follow Mom's orders, huh? Yep. Okay. Where'd you go? Okay. Lots of sparkly stuff here. Wow. Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. But you didn't talk about your grandpa much, Watts. Yeah? There was a hill outside the city that we'd stay at, the same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good. But when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend that I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, bleep. 
I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Oh, who is that? So, he couldn't even remember the first time he met her. Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? We got a cut scene. Just look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh. I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone else has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Eh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things. Never try to wrap it, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes that one out first. Okay, we'll start in three. 
Three, two, one, and st I see it. Uh, where? In the sky? Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? They're the two ears and head. What else? And there it's two feet. Yes, what else? And the moon. The rabbits. What do you see? She said. Tell me what you see. The moon is its big round belly. He still remembered. Even with everything. Somewhere deep inside. So what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow. It must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there. And they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at each of the other lighthouses. And at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. Yes, you are. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won one from whack a -Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. Oh. Some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny. That's Ma calling me. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yup, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget? Or get lost. Oh my god. <laughs> the 
we can always regroup on the moon, Celia. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. That's why he wants to go to the moon. If they ever get lost or can't find each other, they'll regroup on the moon. Holy crap. If they ever get lost. Wait, does that mean? Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. It is. Should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. <laughs> I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you're not actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we were contracted to do. Damn it, Eva. Ava. Okay, guys, I know it's at a pretty suspenseful moment, but that's going to have to be it for this episode. And in the next episode, we will find out what Ava is up to. Until then, be excellent to each other. <laughs>